In this video, I'll be going over how to get free stock data in Google Sheets. Welcome to Adding Dollars. If you're new here, I usually make videos about personal finance and my journey with investing. So if you have any personal finance questions you'd like answered, feel free to leave those in the comments and I'll make sure to answer them. Now let's jump into the computer to learn how to get free stock data in Google Sheets. We're going to start by looking at how to get real-time data for a specific stock. It's important to keep in mind that this data can be delayed at times up to 20 minutes. So the main function that we are going to be using for all of this is Google Finance. So if you start typing it in, you can see it autofill. And then here you can also see some of the parameters that you can input in order to get data. So for this first one, we're going to be looking at real-time data. So let's say we pick Apple as our stock. We can go ahead and put in the ticker, so AAPL. And it's important to keep in mind that you need to use double quotes for pretty much all of these parameters in this function. And then the next thing is we want to get the current price of the stock. So we're going to go ahead and put in price and we can close that there and then hit enter. And then here you can see we get the current price of Apple stock. And just to double check that, we can check what Apple stock is currently trading at. And as you can see right here at the close closing price, it is 151.7. Um, it's showing us the closing price because the market is currently closed. And this was the last available price. So that is a basic example of how to get real-time stock data. And right now I'm just showing price, as you can see here, based on this parameter. But if you look at the actual documentation for Google Finance, and if you scroll down to right about here, here you can see all of the various types of data that you can get in terms of real-time data. So price, price open, high, low, volume, there's a bunch of different parameters that you can look at in order to get data on real-time stocks. And I have a link for this documentation in the description in case you want to play around with the function and look at some of the other types of data that you can get in a more real-time sense. Now I'm going to show you how to get historical data using that same function. Historical data can be used for different types of analysis, creating watch lists, or even creating different types of graphs and charts based on stock data. So again, we're going to start the same way. So you're going to go ahead and start by using the same function, the Google Finance function. Again, we're going to put in our ticker. So in this case, it's going to be Apple again, AAPL. Um, and then the next thing, the attribute, we can jump back to the documentation. And here we can see all of the attributes available for historical data, which would be these right here. Um, in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and try to get all of the data. And then we can kind of do analysis based off of all of the data. So I'm going to go ahead and put in all right here. And then you have to put in a start date. And if you want an end date, you can also put that in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be looking at all of the data on a daily basis for the entire year so far. So the way we can do this is we can put in a start date. So what we have to do here is we put in the year. So 2022, we'll put in the month, January, and then the first day of the month. And then for the end day, what we're going to do is we're just going to call a function to get today's date. And then we will go ahead and add in an interval. So I'm going to put in daily right here. And I just need to put this in double quotes. And then we can close that. And if I hit enter, this should work. It can take a little bit of time. But as you can see here, we now have all of the data loaded. We have the closing price of every trading day, the open, the high, the low, the close, and the amount of volume being traded. Um, for the entire year up to the current date, which you can see right here, um, November 22nd. So now you can do various things now that you have this data loaded into, into Google Sheets. You can basically make different types of graphs based on this data or do various types of calculations based on this data as well. If you're interested in that, leave a comment down below and I can go into more detail about how to make interactive graphs using this data, as well as different types of analysis that you can do for individual stocks based on this data that we have here. Now that you know how to get real-time data for a stock, as well as historical data, I'm going to show you an example of something that you can create using these different types of data. So here I've created a pretty simple watch list of stocks for various stocks that I'm tracking. 
And I did all of this basically using variations of that exact function that I had initially shown you, this Google Finance function, and then basically manipulating the data in different ways. So here you can see I've put all of the stock tickers, and now I have a quick chart that I can look at that shows me the percentage year to date gain or loss the last 30 days, as well as yesterday, and then also today's exact price. So you can go ahead and create a stock watch list using that one function, um, something similar to this, where you can get a quick idea of how all of the stocks you're looking at are performing. And you know, just as an example, perhaps like if you were to see all of these turn green, then that might be a good sign for you to buy. But this is a quick and easy way for you to get an idea of how to do this. Again, like if this is something that you're interested in and want to learn more about, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll go into more detail about how I created this exact watch list or how we can create different kinds of watch lists based on the data that we have. Hopefully this video showed you how to get free stock data in Google Sheets and some things that you can do with that data. If you have any questions or are interested in learning more about Google Sheets, stock analysis, or personal finance, leave your questions in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.